kitchen with us now and it's meatballs and it is un. Believable meatballs and mashed potatoes, meatballs. not something you normally think of. And there's the parmesan, I think I can smell right it's now. It's so is, good. It's that proper comfort food. It really is. And I think um, the one thing a lot of people don't know is they think meatballs, they think spaghetti. Yeah. And traditionally, it's not served. As Italians, we would serve a meatball with a mash or polenta. And it's much more because if you oh. think, how do you get a meatball on a string of spaghetti? Well, that's true. Well, you're quite mm. right. Task so, and a half. Yeah. yeah. So, um, this, what I love about this recipe for anyone with families, big families, want a midweek supper, is you can prep all this in advance. Okay. Okay. So, um, in here, I've got mm. some chopped up onions and some garlic. Um, and this is the tomato sauce. So, if you haven't got time for this, you can make it in advance in a jar in the fridge, keep it in the freezer, or you can buy, obviously, your own. Mm -hmm. But all I'm putting in here is some chopped tomatoes. And then I am cheating. I'm going to put a whole, crumble a whole stock cube. Yeah. What's, um, the, what's any stock? Don't I mean, I tend to go with chicken, but obviously, you know, whatever you prefer. If you prefer veggie stock cube, mm. that's fine. Yeah. And if you've got fresh stock, even better. Well, they can be quite salty, can't they? So do you, yeah, so I, you keep the seasoning right to the end mm. and adjust it based on your preferences. We've got a tablespoon of tomato puree. My mum's little tip is a pinch of cayenne. Yeah. So this is not for making it chilly. You won't even taste it, but it just gives the depth of flavour. Um, a bit of warmth. I mean, so the... there is a little bit of warmth in there, mm. and it is so but good. Just in the background. But it should be exactly that. I can see in the why your mum puts it in. Yeah. Mm. And then a little teaspoon mm. of sugar because that can help with the acidity of the tomatoes. And that, I mean, look, took seconds. Mm. You just leave that bubble away and reduce down. And I tend to make this into like, in, you know, you'll see the non there with all their fresh tomatoes. Making this you know, in huge jars and sterilised jars, and it'll keep for months. If Does you put it? Them. Yeah, if you put it in a sterilised jar. Oh, yeah, wow. so all the Italians this time of year will have all the leftover tomatoes that have gone a bit soft, and they'll cook them down. And that, I mean, this just alone can go hundreds of ways. Mm. Yeah, very um, good. So that can be made in, in, in advance. Now, meatballs, we've worked, we've costed this out, and for an adult's portion, this whole dish can be about £1.50 a portion. Oh, right. And it has got quite a bit of Parmesan, which people go, oh, it's expensive. But it goes such a long mm -hmm. way, Parmesan. Yeah. And well, it's a strong flavour, actually, It is, it? and that's where you can reduce the seasoning. But my nonna used to say, when in the, after the war, she couldn't even get Parmesan, yeah. air dry a block of cheddar cheese, you know, until <laughs> really? it, goes hard, it goes hard. And then finally grate it. Will that do it? I mean, it w it's never going to be Parmesan, oh. but again, Nonna used to say, buy the best that you can afford. And that was her little tip, yeah. you know, in, back in the day. Ever. So for that reason, our meatball recipe often has traditional recipes, um, have Italian sausage meat as the base. Which is, is that normally got a little bit of fennel in it? Yes, so I've got a bit of fennel seeds here. Oh, okay. I've got a mix of pork and beef, and again, to keep costs down, buy whatever's, you know, you could put lamb, mince if you prefer, or whatever the family prefers, but we've got 500 grams in here. There's, this is my fennel, um, which has been ground. Again, you can leave it out if you don't want it. Um, I grate a whole onion, mm. and I grate it because I want it to really mix in really well. We've got grated garlic, mm -hmm. clove. Now, breadcrumbs. People have different opinions on breadcrumbs. Some people use fresh bread. My mum would stale baguettes and grate them. Right. And, it, and it comes really fine. And this is so much better for absorbing kind of the fats in the dish. Mm. Some great um, chopped parsley. Um, one egg to bind it. And then... The parmigiano, mm -hmm. which is really important in my opinion. It's about 100 grams. It's quite a lot. But like I said, this is going to go, this is going to serve about six people. Yeah. And you just mix it all, it's all in. Mix it up. And is this your meatball recipe across the board? Like if you were, if you were doing what you would traditionally, not traditionally, so we've just discovered, but yeah. what we might think would be traditional yeah. of spaghetti, you'd do the same. This is what I would use. Mm -hmm. um, if you can find Italian sausage meat, I do think it you know, it gives that real lovely Italian flavour. Yeah. But, you know, you put the fennel seeds in. Yeah, yeah, that's the secret, isn't and it? And you can't... Yeah, you know, I get my kids to do this. You've got to obviously use raw meat, get them to be wash their hands mm -hmm. afterwards. But all it is is mashing it together. And a bit like playing with Play-Doh, that is it. And they're your meatballs. And that's the size you want? Yeah, so I like to do them, especially for a dish like this, a nice chunky size. But if you want to halve them... Do you know the great thing about those meatballs? 
I personally prefer to cook them fresh in the sense that um, they can dry out otherwise. Mm -hmm. But you can freeze them like that. So put them in freeze bowls. Freeze them before you cook them. Yeah, exactly. Put oh, them right. in bowls. So there you go. That's your meatballs prepped. And then you just, you can bake them if you want a healthier option or just a bit of olive oil and cooked on, on the thing like that. But the mash, the mash is the exciting part. Well, it's something special's going on here because this mash is unbelievable. So in here, all I've done is I've boiled, mashed the potatoes and into that goes butter. And I've Not got a... that much butter, though, or have you put Yeah, like... yeah, no, about 50 grams of butter. Some's already gone in. Oh, well, I was going to say. Yeah, some's already gone in. Um, we had to, you know, save our time. Olive oil, because that will loosen it. And can you see the colour of it as well? Yeah. It's gone kind of like a golden. And then, obviously, quite a bit of parmesan, but save some back. And the reason being, OK, is when I serve this up, I like to serve my meatballs on a bed of palm cheesy parmesan. OK, so you season that with a bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. You can either plate it up like that, or even better, make this in advance. Get one of these shallow, lovely kind of stove top pans mm -hmm. and then you put it back on the heat and oh. how you serve this in the middle of a table okay flatten it out put it back on the heat you drizzle it with olive oil or a bit of butter then you go back in with the parmesan <laughs> that goes on the heat that's why it's comfort food guys and that then on the heat will melt away it won't burn the bottom Pardon? It won't burn the bottom. No, if you should probably... I mean, this is non-stick, but you really want to put... You want to I mean, there is quite a bit of olive oil already in okay. that. But you could put this in the oven as well. You know, you don't have to put it on the heat. But what will happen is, as that parmesan's melting, obviously, this sauce is lovely and hot, it melts it all, just like that, and then you serve it with the meatballs on top, right in the middle of the table. Yeah. And all the family can just dig in. And for me, this is a cr it's a crowd pleaser. That'll be clean plates all round after clean that. Clean plates. The kids love it. And, I mean, put a bit more, you know, herbs on the top if you'd like. Yeah. But look at that. It's but, really nice. It's really nice to have it with mash, isn't it? Mm. So delicious. Yeah. And that mm. tomato sauce is a revelation. Wow, there you go. And that is how I would like to serve it. Right in the middle of the table. Bit of everybody, seasoning everybody on top. In. I wouldn't even bother with plates. <laughs> Just give <laughs> well, you know what? Yeah. Give them a fork, <laughs> give them a spoon. Uh, Michaela, thank you. That's You're really welcome. lovely. Thank you very much. For today's uh, details of the recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, head to the free this morning app.